What is going on guys, Officer O'Leary here, back again with another full ride experience. But before we get into the full ride experience, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. Like, it's unbelievable the amount of support you guys have given me lately. And to give back, I've got a couple t-shirts here to give away. So if you guys want these t-shirts, you can tweet at me. My Twitter handle is at Officer O'Leary. All you gotta do is tweet at me how you found my channel, and also which t-shirt you want. The one on the top is a kid's large, and the one on the bottom is an adult large. So again, if you guys want to be entered to win this, all you got to do is follow me on Twitter, at Officer O'Leary, and just tweet at me how you found my channel and which one you want, and I will post the winner tomorrow at noon, and then tomorrow night I'm going to post a video announcing who won. And then, obviously, be looking out in your DMs if you entered to win, because I'm going to be having to message you, got to get your details and whatnot. So yeah, enjoy! <laughs> That's right guys, today we're back at Six Flags New England checking out the Mind Eraser. Pretty awesome ride, I'm not gonna lie, but I was a little bit scared when I saw this height stick here guys, because I just barely make it to the maximum height requirement. Or, well, I guess it's not a requirement, I guess it's a height limit. So I almost didn't make it onto this ride, so I almost didn't record it for you. I don't know, but it was crazy to see that there, because I was a little bit scared guys. Because what if I went onto this ride and I lost like my leg or something? Yeah, that'd be really bad. But yeah, here we are walking through the queue line. It looks like it's got a western style theme to it. It's kind of interesting since there's nothing really themed to that in the park at all. Um, but I'm assuming this was left over from when the park was Riverside, considering that the ride was built in 1997. So that would make it under Riverside management at that point. So maybe this side of the park had something to do with western theme? I, I don't really know. But anyway, we're walking through the queue line. They've got some TV set up for you in case the line is long. That's really cool that they do that because if you're just standing in line, there's nothing for you to do. There's no entertainment. There's, there's nothing to do. So it's good that they have the TVs there. But it's pretty much just your average run-of-the-mill SLC for the most part. I mean, it's got the original over-the-shoulder restraint, so you're going to bang your head a lot. You might end up getting a headache, and if you have earrings or stuff, you know, things around your ears, you might want to take those off before getting on board. It's not a comfortable ride for your head. Anyway, let's get into some facts here. The track length is 2,260.5 feet long. The height is 109 feet tall. You got five inversions, 49.7 miles an hour, and it's a minute and 36 seconds long. So it's not a too long of uh, a ride. I don't recommend riding this unless it's a super busy day and you really have no other option. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for my commentary. Thanks again for a thousand subscribers, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. You have to hold those buttons down the whole time? Re really? Most rides just have a pedal, right? <laughs> Most rides got the pedal.
that ride is intense. Ugh. Damn. Why do these exist? <laughs>